this is Dr. Masterditch, and in the following few minutes, I'm going to discuss a fractured tooth problem in several sections. Um, first, I'm going to discuss it in uh, the basic anatomy, and then we'll roll into uh, various uh, different scenarios that occur on different teeth. Uh, we're going to divide this tape up into uh, three different sections, uh, plus one on the basic anatomy. So as you go through uh, the different sections, um, and if there are some terminology regarding a tooth that is a problem, uh, please feel free to refer back to this first section. Um, initially, what we're going to do is look at this um, diagram. This is a uh, cross-sectional diagram of a tooth. And you'll see that there's the enamel uh, up on top that we normally can see. And then the second layer is the dentin. Um, and then the third layer um, inside the tooth is the pulp or the nerve tissue. Now, um, demonstrated here is the, the enamel, the dentin, and the pulp. Below this point is the roots that are in the bone and the, underneath the gum tissue and the part that you can see we call the crown or the clinical crown. Fractures can occur in various places on this tooth. They can occur in the enamel, in the dentin, uh, they can occur obliquely, horizontally, or vertically, and they all have different uh, ramifications which we will go through um, as we go through the various different types of fractures. If you want to refer back to this, if I'm um, in one of the future sections, uh, please feel free to come back and you can kind of get the visual image of this uh, tooth um, because you don't work with it on a daily basis. All right.